Today I'm gonna talk about the five most common mistakes I see what personal brands do. This can change the whole trajectory of the brand. Like once you get these on point, you can focus on, on just the input and you will be a lot more successful faster. Number one, not thinking about feelings. There's this branding legend, Marty Neumeier, and he defines branding as the gut feeling people get when they see, hear, or think about your brand. It's about human psychology and, and how we actually work. And it turns out that we are emotional beings and we make all our decisions based on emotions that we then justify with logic. So there's a small gap. First is the emotion triggered and then we're like, oh yeah, this, this way, because I felt like this, it has to mean like this. And then you justify it with logic and, and take action. So if you can make it really clear what emotions you try to trigger and, and what you try to make your audience feel, that's a really good start. Number two on our list today, not having clear boundaries. This, this is just like, it, it blows my mind why people fail to do this. And, and I know it's trendy to be authentic and you just have to be like, yeah, whatever. I'll just throw myself in there. But a brand, it, it's, it's a business. And if you don't have any boundaries, it, it, it's like you don't talk in your business like you would talk to a newborn or to a, a, a puppy. That, that's just weird. And, and, and you can ruin your brand reputation like really quickly. Or if you have a fight, you, you out one night and, and you're this hot tempered person and you have a fight with someone. That's, that's not, that side of you doesn't necessarily need to, to be included in your brand. And, and even if it's a personal brand, like you need to have some kind of boundaries because it prevents you from acting when you're overwhelmed or when you have a certain feeling and, and you just want to kind of push out something in the world that can really harm your whole brand image and, and reputation. So clear boundaries is is a must in my opinion. Number three, not asking the audience what they think and what they feel. There's this common misconception that, that you know what you represent, but you only represent what people get from you, how they feel, how they see you. So your opinion is just the starting point. And what actually matters is the, the customer, the followers viewpoint and, uh, and their feelings, how you make them feel and how you make them act. Essentially, the, the customers and, and your audience owns your brand. They can ruin your brand really quickly by starting to talk shit about you or, or some other stuff. If, if you do something that they can justify and, and, and share that world, share that word, that's the, the end of your brand. That, that's like, you can't do anything about it. It doesn't matter what you think. If all of the audience thinks that you did something wrong, that's it. So this is why you need to kind of communicate with your audience. And, and that's where community comes in. Where you want to have an engaged audience. You want to know how they think how they feel and, and make it a back and forth thing, you can start adjusting yourself in, in terms of that and, and see what the audience really wants because business and, and branding, it's about the audience. It's not about you, it's about the audience. So like, I want to know how you feel about, about my brand and, and what I do. So, so please comment that because I, I want this to be a, a back and forth thing. Okay. Number four, and this is, I'm on, on Twitter, on X and, and the, the personal branding boom is going on. Number four problem that I see that people don't have an offer 
or, or something that they sell or represent or want to change when they start a brand. They think that, yeah, I'm just gonna start a brand. I'm just gonna build leverage online and, and I'm just gonna be successful. Okay, what do you sell? Who do you sell it for? And, and why do you sell it? These questions are really important and the brand should only be the vehicle to kind of get this message forward and, and spread the, the awareness of, of the thing you represent and the thing that you do, the, the change that you make, the transformations. I tell all my customers and, and all the people that I talk to, to first figure out who you serve and what transformation do you give them? Is it health, wealth or relationships? And, and once you have these questions dialed in, everything becomes easier you know what you market you know what you do and 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 so forth and and that leads me to the fifth point of this whole video is people building brands without a strategy i don't mean that the strategy needs to be like really specific this is how you do you need to have a schedule and 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 whatever the strategy is essentially the boundaries you have like the the vehicle and and what you represent you have the big ideas you kind of know what you're doing and who you do it for and why you do it there's so many different ways you can succeed but the the part that a lot of people forget is the strategy and i know why people don't want to to put time and effort in a strategy because it's not, you don't get the result right away. It's just the master plan. And if you follow the master plan, you will be successful because you've done research and, and, and put that research into the master plan. You know why you're doing stuff. You, you have based it on psychology and, and proven concepts on, on how humans actually work. But that's not fun, you know? It's not fun to put in the the time and effort without seeing direct results. It's, it's kind of like, yeah, but I just want to focus on sales or I just want to get more followers, you know? I just want the numbers. You don't do anything with the followers or the numbers if they're the wrong ones who don't trust you, who don't want anything that you're selling. So that's the, that's the waste of time. So, so without building something without a strategy and and i know this because like my last business failed because i didn't want to accept that i need to put a lot prepping time and i i've also worked in in restaurants and there's this similar thing if you don't put in time to prep all the meals and stuff your whole serving is gonna just end up in chaos it's it's not gonna happen the, the quality isn't gonna be there so Building a business and building a brand, even if it's a personal brand, you need to have some kind of roadmap on where you're going. Because if you just go somewhere, the worst part is that you're gonna lose yourself. And, and this is why like my structure, my framework for building a brand, it's self-awareness, lifestyle, and then that's the result of brand and, and business. So that's going to be another video. This is it's super interesting for me because like I do this branding thing because I see so many misconceptions and 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 people focusing on the wrong things. I want to help those people who are really trying to affect the world and and change the world in a positive way to to move forward and this is why I share my knowledge here. I also have a coaching program if you're interested you can book a call with me i have a link in the comments and and we can discuss if we're a right fit and if you have something to offer the world that it really needs okay that's it my name is mitz please like this video subscribe comment what you think and i'll see you in the next one peace out